so um, unfortunately, our uh, Soyuz spacecraft uh, developed a, a leak, uh, we think through a micrometeorite strike uh, in the coolant system. And um, unfortunately, you know, the, the, the spacecraft was essentially intact, but we weren't really sure whether uh, we as a crew would be uh, safe um, in our return. And obviously, uh, that's a critical um, component, not just to our safety, but also, uh, and perhaps more importantly, uh, to the computer systems that manage our re-entry. Uh, and so because of that, uh, both NASA and Roscosmos came together. Uh, and again, as much as it was a challenge to stay uh, an extra six months, I'm so grateful that um, the agency was able to say, hey, you know what, the safe thing to do would be to fly up a new spacecraft and uh, have them wait and uh, ensure a, most, a more safe return. Yeah, the, the communication really is uh, key. Um, so when we first got up here, we had uh, the voice over internet protocol telephone uh, calls that we could uh, pretty much make a phone call anytime we weren't working and we had KU uh, availability. And then a few months into our stay, we started developing uh, a, a video conferencing capability. And then uh, that became more and more robust and uh, something we were able to enjoy. So really for this last uh, half of the mission, uh, at least a couple times a week, I was able to do a video conference with my family, which was huge because it just helps you stay uh, so connected to, to obviously talk to them, but then to see them, I think, just changes uh, the whole paradigm, and it was uh, really pretty special to be able to do that.